Yeah, stay. Coyote started sounding off, like very, very close to us, two packs, one on either side of us, so. Baby, how have you managed to become such a mess already? Your hoodie is all messed up. Got burrs in your face. Uh, we're gonna have to get that taken care of.
Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, Old Southern Pine. Thanks for joining us on another adventure. Today we are hammock camping in a Minnesota State Forest. And for those of you guys who have watched the channel before, you guys know that anytime I can go hammock camping, I'm a happy man. We had a brand new hammock here from One Wind Outdoors and a new tarp from Unigear. Those both went up nicely. We've just got the tarp thrown back over here. I've already got it rigged up so that as soon as we get ready for bed, we can just guy it out, take it down, call it good. You know, every time we come out here into this pine grove, I'm reminded of a poem by Robert W. Service, who lived during the Yukon Gold Rush and was a pretty impressive individual. If you don't mind, I'd like to share this poem with you. It's called Heart of the North. And when I come to the dim trail end, I who have been life's rover, this is all I would ask my friend over and over and over. A little space on a stony hill with never another near me. Sky of the north that's vast and still with a single star to cheer me. Star that gleams on a mossy gray stone graven by those who love me. There I would lie alone, alone with a single pine above me. Pine that the north wind whinnies through. Oh, I have been life's lover, but there I'd lie and listen to eternity passing over. I think you'd do pretty good.
Yes, hi, sweetie. Hi, baby. Yeah, stay. All right, y'all, here's the situation. Fiona got some burrs all through her hair around her eyes, got them into her eyes, and uh, was actually poking and hurting her in the eye. So I was able to get the burrs out that were actually in her eye, but I'm not equipped out here to be able to get them out from around her eyes. So uh, as we're packing up to get home, Coyotes started sounding off, like, very, very close to us. Two packs, one on either side of us. So, I am hiking out right now, just carrying Fiona in my camera bag so that I can get her safely locked into the truck. Then I'm going to hike it back in here to pack up the rest of the stuff. All right, y'all, we are... We have Fiona back in the truck, and we are hiking back out to get our stuff and see the light that I left on back up there for us at camp. I'm sorry that we couldn't get this all together for you guys and create a nice overnight trip, but anybody who's watched this channel for any amount of time knows that that dog's well-being means more to me than my own. We're out here just to have a good time, so if I'm not able to keep her comfortable and while the burrs touching her eyes I was at least get those off so there wasn't going to be any kind of damage to her eyes or anything uh there's still quite a bit of burrs in around her face that I'm just not equipped to be able to take care of out here so they're clearly going to be bugging her I've got her safely in the truck we're going to get packed up now and get out of here all right y'all we are home and I just wanted to show you guys the aftermath of Fiona's new haircut but she's doing fine thank you guys for joining us on this trip and until we meet again under the old southern pine stay safe and god bless